Welcome to Shadow to Chaos. Today I'll learn some new data types. Now, as you've previously observed in my tutorials, that I've only used numbers. Decimal numbers, fractional numbers, whole numbers, only numbers basically. So today I'll learn something called the characters and the strings. Now, characters is basically a place where you store a particular alphabet or a number. Now, it has to be a single alphabet. Do you keep that in mind? You declare a character with the following way, in the following way, char, the name of the character, and a semicolon. This is how you declare a character. It can only store one alphabet or even a number, but it can only store one. So if I want to store, uh, let's say, an alphabet in it, uh, let's say percent %c would be used to represent that this is a character, okay? comma ampersand of and the name of the variable really that simple the only thing changes is that percent c which represents a character now let's print that message shouldn't we uh, percent c comma name all right and the semicolon in the front run it and it will let us to insert the data i'm going to insert a and it would print a as you can plainly see, it just accepted one single alphabet. If I enter, let's say, multiple, it will only print the first one. It would not accept more than one alphabet. Now, in, in order to store more than one alphabet, or a one entire word or something like that, you need to use a string. A string is basically an array of characters, a collection of characters, means basically which contains more than one character in it. So in order to declare a string, all we do is just declare an array in the front. Alright? So let's put in a twenty, for example. So you will be able to store more twenty one alphabets inside this name character variable. Okay? So I can store up to twenty. The only thing changes over here is these square brackets which represents as a string and all that changes is you need to change it to an S that would represent as a string now if you run it and you type in a single message I say Google you will see that it prints Google an entire string it can print up to 20 alright it can only store 20 characters in it and there's no space between them you c if you put a space then it's done look if I type in Google Spain it would just store the Google area because that space is totally dividing it okay so if you put a space between a string that's it it's not going to store the second part so do to keep that in mind so basically a string is a collection of alphabets and a character is a just a single alphabet again you can store even numbers or even characters in this particular data type so up till now you have learned character double float and integers. These are the basically that we're going to use all along the programming series. So you have learned all the data types that you need to learn in programming in C, except one which is structure, which would be my next target, obviously. So anyway, this is me, Channel to Chaos. I hope you like this video. Rate, comment, subscribe. Thank you very much.